Hi guys and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover something called a UI image picker um, or specifically a UI image picker controller. So the application we're going to build, I'm going to launch up a test version of this application or a, uh, an example that I built earlier. And what this is going to do is going to allow the user to pick an image and fill a image view object with an image that they've either picked from their photo library or an image that they just take from their camera. So up on the sim on screen is the simulator and I've uh, launched this sample application that I wrote a while ago and although it doesn't look like much what it's actually got in this gray area is a UI image view its image property has not been set that's why you sort of see a blank value there's a UI button on screen now if I click this button it loads the UI image picker controller which as you can see in this case loads the photo library and then I can essentially browse and see what images are there and I can pick one of the images and then it sets it to that UI image view so I can do that again click on pick image photo library comes up I can set it to another image and there we go the UI image view is set so pretty simple application but I think it does a great job of illustrating how you can work with UI image picker controllers also wanted to point out the version of Xcode that I'm currently running it's version 4.3.2 alright let's get started let's first create a new project so we'll go to file new project and let's see here let's get this to come up on screen drag this to the center a little bit so you can see it better and um, I am of course with an iOS under application and I've got the different application templates for iOS I'm gonna pick the single view application hit next and it's gonna ask me for a product name so let me just call this my image picker I've got the device family set to iPhone I don't have storyboards checked but I do have use automatic reference counting checked I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna be prompted to save this application I've got a standard folder that I'm gonna save it in I'm gonna hit create and wait for Xcode to finish up indexing whatever it needs to um, so that we can begin working with this project there we go it's gonna take a couple seconds here to finish indexing um, I usually like to let it finish before I mess around with any of the files um, so we are good to go should be just about done here and it's, looks like it's got three out of four and we could probably click and click through and take a look at some of the stuff okay so the files that we're gonna start with is of course the nib file here and this seems to be taking in a little extra long let's see what's going on uh, give it a couple more seconds here before I try this process again okay Xcode's done indexing all the files and we are in the view controller .nib file now if we remember from uh, this <clears throat> the application that I had running in the simulator you may remember that there was a UI image view object in the background and we had a UI button right on top of it so let's get that set up I'm gonna look for a UI image or let's just say image in our object library here and I'm gonna just drag that to my view and let go great we also can go ahead and add our button so let me just search for that and we just need a round rec button I'm gonna drag that about here and double click into it so I can put it some text in pick image seems fairly descriptive great now that we've got both of those in place we want to be able to affect the image property of the UI image view which is of course going to mean we need an outlet so the easiest way to set that up is of course to activate our assistant editor by coming up here in the top right hand corner clicking that button and that opens up the view controller dot h file in a just in a side window and what we can now do is either do a control click or just right click and drag a connection to the file and so we can let go and then here it knows that we want to create an outlet and I'm just going to <clears throat> create one here let's just call this image view say my image for example hit connect and there we have our outlet great let's make some space here because we also want an IB action to tie our um, button here that says pick image on it so what we can do of course is right click it and then look for the touch up inside event and then just drag a connection here and let go and this time it knows it's an action and it's gonna ask me what do you want to call this IB action method I'm just gonna call it pick image hit connect and we've got that set up as well great now that we have both of these values in place we can actually go back to our standard editor by clicking this button here and the assistant editor disappears 
and we've got our stuff set up. So we now have to jump into our viewcontroller.h file and make a couple changes here. Of course, we've got our IB outlet set up as a property. We've got the declaration for our pick image method, which is an IB action. And we also want to add a UI image picker controller um, object here. So we can go ahead and do that here by just declaring as, as a property. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say strong non-atomic and then we're going to say UI image picker controller and let's just call that image picker. Great. Command S. Now that I've set up the um, at property statement, I do have to, of course, set up the corresponding at synthesize statement as well. Now, before we jump into the implementation file, there's one more thing I actually need to do here in this particular header file. If you remember, let me try and bring the simulator back up. This is our application. When I click on the pick image um, button, it loads in the UI image picker controller, that which in this case is loading the photo library. And if you remember, I can then click on this and then it gives me a list of all the images that are there, which is great. But there's a couple things that we want to notice here. One, of course, is the fact that this appears to have some kind of a navigation controller. And that's one of the key things we're going to need to implement here uh, to be able to really work with this particular um, type of object. Um, so we, what we want to do here is indicate that our view controller class is going to explicitly declare itself or volunteer itself to be a UI navigation controller delegate. We also want to declare that this class will be a UI image picker controller delegate. The reason we do that is because there are some delegate methods that we can leverage to do some different things within our implementation file if we explicitly declare ourselves as being the delegate. So let's do both of those things. We start with the angle bracket, of course, and I'm going to say UI image picker controller delegate, comma, UI navigation controller delegate. There we go. Close that with another angle bracket, and we're all set. We can now jump into the implementation file. Remember, one of the first things we're going to have to do is, of course, the at synthesize. And I believe we'd call our UI image picker controller just image picker. That's correct. Command S to save. And we're good there. We can then scroll down all the way to the end and work within our IB action that we created earlier called pick image. And this is where we're going to do a lot of the work that we need to to get this working. Okay, so first thing we need to do, of course, is allocate some memory for our image picker. So we'll say image picker is UI image picker controller alloc, and then we'll just use the standard init method to initialize it. Great. Next, we want to say that this image picker's delegate is our current class. So the way we do that is we say, so let's just say set the delegate, and we're going to say image picker dot delegate is assigned the value of self. Great. Right. Now that we've allocated some memory for our image picker, we want to be able to set its source type property. Now the source type is what ties it to a particular um, item such as either the camera or the library. And one of the things we're going to sort of be able to do here is set up some code that allows it to select either the library or the camera. Now, one of the problems we're going to run into, of course, is not all devices have a camera. And so we can't just willy-nilly implement some code that tries to access the camera because if the hardware doesn't have it, we'll just get an error and this app will crash. This also applies to the simulator because the simulator has no camera. And even if your particular Apple device that you're coding on, for example, it's a MacBook Pro, MacBook, um, or even if you've got you know a display that has uh, a camera built into it, there's not really a way for us to access that. So we have to add some code to do some checking to see whether that piece of hardware is even available. So the easiest way to do that, of course, is set up an if statement. So we'll say an if, and in our condition, what we're going to do is we are going to access a class method, and that class method belongs to the UI image picker controller, and what it's called is is source type available and you'll notice that here it takes a parameter called UI image picker controller source type so this is the method that we want and we can then type in the source type we want to check for so let's say UI image picker controller source type 
and the one we want is not photo library but camera because this is the one that's sort of going to be iffy. Uh, the, the, the photo library is of course available on the simulator and just about every single iOS device. The camera unfortunately is not. So we check for this particular value and then let's just bump this particular brace bracket down and add some code here. All right, so we'll remove that, do a command S to save. So what we're doing here is we're calling this class method and asking if this particular source type is available. If it is available, then what we can do is we'll just say for this particular example that we want to use the camera by default. So we'll say image picker dot source type is equal to is assigned UI image picker controller source type camera command S to save. Now, if that's not available, what we will do is we'll say else and let's bump this down one line. We'll say if it's not available, we want you to set the source type to the library. This just basically will tie it to one of the others. So let's say UI image picker controller source type photo library. Command S to save. Great. So now we've allocated some memory. We've set the delegate. We're checking to see if the source type's available and then setting that source type for this UI image picker controller object. And last but not least, we want to display, you know, whatever view controller we need with that source type in it. So we'll say the way we do that is we'll say self self and we'll say present modal view controller and this is the method we want and you'll notice that it asks for a UI view controller in this case this is going to be image picker do we want animated yes we do want to animate just about everything so it's got that cool transition effect great so now that this is in place we can let's bump this in so it's got some nice indenting we're done with this particular method technically we could run the application at this point but we do actually want to implement a couple uh, UI image picker controller delegate methods because they're going to allow us to do um, some different things. One of which is, of course, even though we have at this point picked our image picker source type and we're presenting this modal view controller, we aren't going to be, we haven't written any code to actually set our UI image views image property to whatever image we pick. So this while this would run, it wouldn't really do anything. So let's go ahead and implement those other two methods. So the way we're going to uh, look up some of these is I don't remember them off the top of my head. The easiest way to do it, of course, is to put our cursor, jump back to the viewcontroller.h file, put our cursor over the UI image picker controller delegate, and you'll notice that the quick help, of course, changes, and then you can just look this up in the protocol reference. Great. So I've got organizer open, and if I scroll down here, you'll notice that there's a couple different methods here. Uh, one of them is, of course, um, no longer available or deprecated in iOS 3.0. There's two other methods, so let's take a look at them. Let's look at the first one first, which says image picker controller colon did finish pick, picking media with info. So if we click on this method, you'll notice that it's got a little bit of a description. And what this method actually does is it basically checks, tells the delegate that the user has finished picking either an image or a movie. So we want to implement this method. Do a command C to save that. Oh, I'm sorry, command C to copy that. And we can come down here towards the bottom, do a command V and paste it. And there we go. All right, so now we're ready to actually set that value. So the way we would do this is first of all, the name of our image view is my image. So we're going to say my images image property is signed info which is the name of our NS dictionary and we're going to call a method on it called object for key and we are going to pass it in the value of UI image picker controller and you'll notice that it gives us a couple different ones we're gonna give it the value of original image so this is the image that we want to assign to our um, uh, assign to the image property of our UI image view great once that's done, we can then dismiss our UI image picker controller. And the way we could do that, it will just say self, self, and we can say dismiss view controller animated and say bool. We'll just say yes, command us to save, and there we go. Right now, if you remember from organizer, we've got one other method that we've got to implement. So let's jump back and take a look at that. And that is image picker controller did cancel. And the way where this gets comes into play, of course, is 
uh, you see this cancel button here if I hit the cancel it goes back and we want to be able to essentially do that so what we want to do is implement a method that allows us to sh uh, dismiss this particular view controller if the user hits cancel and so we can do that of course using that particular method so let me click on this organizer button again and I'm going to copy this method and command V and really all we have to do is copy this particular line command C command V and we are good to go great so at this point we actually have all of the code that we need in place so let's go ahead and run our application and you'll see that it should work the way we expect it to so we'll give Xcode a few seconds here to finish compiling and setting this up in our simulator and my machine is actually running a few different programs at this time so it may take a little bit longer than it normally would on most other computers so here we go We've got a simulator on screen of course this is my old application here we can see it loading up my our new project called my image picker again we get the blank UI image view we get the button I click on pick image and here I get the photo library and I can click on the save photos and then of course I can set one of these values and there we go it's working just like we'd want it to so we can pick another one click on pick image hit the cancel button and we get that um, our original view control so that's all there is to working with UI image picker controllers as you can see it's pretty easy hopefully this is a good sort of primer for you in terms of being able to use these um, and again to remind you unfortunately we don't have a way to really test um, the uh, you know the option where it's it's picking it from the camera but if you've got a development device set up um, you definitely try running this application on that and see how it behaves um, again remember that you know we, with our code here we're actually defaulting to the source type camera um, and then only then going to the photo library so when you modify this particular project you may want to give the user an option to pick from one or the other and I'm sure you can write some code that allows you to do just that. I hope this was helpful. This was, a, I think, a fairly quick tutorial compared to some of the others. But anyway, enjoy. Um, happy programming. Bye-bye.